Today, I'm going to be showing you guys a very simple and basic egg salad recipe. Here are the seasonings that I personally like to put in my egg salad. I use salt, paprika, black pepper, and dill weed. So make sure you have those seasonings, salt, paprika, black pepper. You don't need dill weed, but I like to add that. And I only use two condiments, that being yellow mustard and the best mayo in the whole wide world, Hellman's Mayo. Okay, so let's get started. This is a very easy and simple recipe. For the full recipe, make sure you visit my website at phillyjcooking.com. There you'll find all the detailed instructions and the exact measurements. All right. Okay, guys, so here we have a pot of water. You're going to place your pot of water over high heat. And we're going to add the eggs once the water comes to a boil you. So place it over high heat. Let the water get hot once it starts boiling. We're going to add our eggs. And as you can see, we're going to be using six large size eggs. So make sure you have six eggs. This recipe requires six eggs and make sure they are large, okay? Okay guys, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a big spoon, you're gonna place all six of your eggs on that spoon and you're going to slowly and gently drop your eggs into this boiling pot of water you gotta be gentle because eggs are fragile and they will easily break so we're going to cook these until they're done I always like to cook my eggs for at least 20 minutes when boiling them. Everybody say 15 minutes is the standard amount of time to boil your eggs, but <laughs> just to be on the safe side, I like to boil them for 20 minutes. Ice cubes. In here along with some cool water. And we're gonna let these sit for at least a half an hour, like 30, 35 minutes. It takes about that long. And we'll crack the shells once they cool off. So I'll get back with you guys after a half. Our eggs are cool and you guys know I like to run water while cracking the shell of my eggs. The water serves as a lubricant. It helps the shell come off easier. So I'm going to peel the shells off these eggs and I'll get back with you guys once I'm done. But as you can see, the water just makes the surface of the egg slippery and makes the shell come off so much easier so use this method to remove the shell from your egg and tell me what you guys think all right okay so here's our eggs we're going to just dice them up and I don't cut my eggs in any particular way just slice them up 
and we do use the egg yolks when making egg salad so you're not going to discard the egg yolks but yeah just chop your eggs up and we're going to place all of these eggs in a mixing bowl So there's our chopped eggs. What we're gonna do now is add it to the mixing bowl and we're going to combine it with our condiments and our seasonings. Okay guys, so what we're gonna add first is our salt. We're gonna add a little dill wheat. Okay, not much of that at all. We're gonna add our black pepper. And just for a little color, we're gonna add a small amount of paprika. Just to give the egg salad a little color. Not gonna add much of that at all either. Okay. So we're going to stir this in first. We're going to add our mayo now. Okay. And we're gonna add our yellow mustard. Some people like to use Dijon, but since I'm showing you guys how to make this, I'm just gonna use standard yellow mustard since everybody don't like Dijon. Okay. And we're gonna stir this all in. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do with my egg salad, and this is what I do with most salads, is I'm gonna place it in the refrigerator and let it chill. Um, the flavors come together when you let it sit a little while anyway. But egg salad, I like chilled, so I make it, I place it in the refrigerator, and I like to eat my egg salad at night, like as a snack, <laughs> you know, um, or when I want something light to eat kind of hungry but not hungry enough to eat a four course meal i'll make some egg salad so yeah I sit it in the refrigerator let it chill a little bit eat it with some bread mm, it's pretty darn good okay so i'm going to sit this in the refrigerator let it chill and i'll get back with you guys when i plate it with some bread so our egg salad is chilled and we have two slices of bread here egg salad kind of stiffened up a little bit as it chilled and with this recipe you can make about two egg salad sandwiches All right nice and full like that and this is a good snack or lunch that you can make for the children to take to school. Top it like that. 
And there is your egg salad sandwich. I'm gonna slice it in half. Okay guys, and there is your egg salad sandwich. I hope you enjoy, it is really, really good. Peace, Philly Boy J.